The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, ladies and gentlemen, I have a different situation. I have one, yeah, a couple <laughs> a couple different situations. First, I have an actual stand-up comedian who has been traveling the United States of America, a very, very funny stand-up comedian. He is none other than Mr. Mike Baldwin. <laughs> Welcome yeah. back, buddy. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, no, thank you for uh, standing in. I sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, but we also have the funniest member of my family. He has two first names, and he's kind of retarded. But uh, Mr. Mr. Fred <laughs> slash kind of. Clayton. Can you use that word anymore? I don't think we've got canceled yet. I think okay. I think okay. it's fine. I mean, okay. we're looking for reasons to do so, so we might as well. Okay. Let's, okay. Let's That's use fair. it. I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but yes, uh, Derek and Jeremy are off this week. Uh, Derek is getting ready for uh, baseball season. is coming right around the corner. By the way, I got tickets for you guys if you guys want to go to the oh, game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, and uh, Jeremy is uh, fighting long hours with uh, his work being an aircraft mechanic, so that's all fun. Fun for him. Uh, but it gives us the opportunity to actually uh, have a little bit more fun with us two, some not, some guys that generally we don't have a show with, but I'm really excited to do so because we get to have a little bit more fun. Right? For sure. Yeah. For sure. Maybe. Or it'll be weird. It could be, <laughs> we could bomb your whole podcast We could, tonight, and that's okay. So. I think it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, we've got an excellent show for you today. We've got, you know, the, nor the normal things, uh, but we also got a lot of new things. We got current events. Uh, I know, and uh, most of all you listeners know, that Mike and Fred are really not huge sports enthusiasts so we're going to talk about some regular current events which i think is going to be a lot of fun we've got regular overrated or underrated what would you do questions in preguntas and as always we end up with a good draft and a shitty situation but these guys haven't been on the show for a little bit and so uh we have a week week recap where we like to talk about what happened to us over the last couple of weeks or at least since you've been on the show and we're going to kick this bitch off with mike mr uh -oh. mike baldwin you get to kick it off Here. buddy uh, what, have I been yeah. here since I went to Seattle? Yeah, I've, uh, I don't think so. No, I'm no. Went, went to Seattle. How was that? It was awesome. Did it I, rain a lot? I mean, the, it actually not as much as I thought it might. Damn. I mean, I've been there several times, but no, there was a, a, a few days there where it was like, wow, it's surprisingly beautiful. Yeah. Um, I did some comedy shows on islands. So yeah. I got to like where you drive your car onto a ferry and here, do uh, me a favor. Push the mic this way. This that, way, that's it. Right, talking to the side. Yeah, of Yeah, that's right. There so you it, go. It's it's opposite of wieners. That's right. Uh huh. You don't want to just. Do, you don't want it straight on. Yeah, you yeah. want to kiss the front of it. Uh huh. Right on the tip, like yeah. the Dalai Lama. Yeah. That. Did you see that? No. Oh man, it's creepy. <laughs> look up. Just look up the, lo, the latest Dalai I Lama news. To. I don't. Want and to. tell me that it's not super creepy, and nobody's talking about it. If it if it was Donald Trump that did the same thing, people would be like, "This is a." Travesty, <laughs> but yeah. anyway. So yeah, I went to Seattle, did some shows. It was awesome. Had a good time. It's uh, it's kind of trash there. Oh, really? Like it's just, I don't know. It goes back to the same thing I've said several times, which is like you shouldn't strive to be like a really good homeless person. <laughs> like you should strive above that. But there's guys that are like, man, I got my generator, I got my tent, and it's like, dude, you could do so many better things with that money. But I had fun. It was a good time. The yeah. food was expensive, but it was quite delicious. Yeah. I had a breakfast chicken sandwich is what it said on the menu. And oh. it was just this beautiful plate of like a chicken. 
chicken yeah. breast and like a uh, biscuits and gravy and an egg on top. And, Fuck yeah. Oh, man, it was fantastic. But it was like $36. Fuck. I know. <laughs> but, so you have to eat it all. Oh, yeah. and I did. It was good. But that's all. Nothing else. Nothing else? Uh, I did some family stuff with my grandma and my aunt okay. for uh, Easter. Okay. And that was nice. Yeah. We, we ate uh, the typical Easter things. Okay. How far are you into Lost since the last time we talked? I literally am on the very last episode. God damn it. Dude, I have flew <laughs> through that thing. I watched it while I was in Seattle. I had it playing really? in my hotel room on my iPad. Yeah, oh. while I was just tooling around. Because I've seen it before. Oh, I'm not, sure. But yeah, no, it's uh, I actually got teary-eyed uh but it, you don't spoil it for me well i won't spoil Damn. it but in the final episodes like things start coming together right and there's a certain uh couple that when their things start coming together then and it shows oh man look i have goosebumps a little bit <laughs> it's so good you're such a win i really am i know <laughs> all right that's all that's it okay fine well i'm gonna go because i'm gonna leave you up to the crescendo because you got a lot of good news um, I played a shitload of golf, man. That's right here. Oh fuck! I played a shitload of golf. I uh, I went with a coworker who, I mean, he's a younger kid that likes to talk mad shit, and that generally makes me like to stand up and 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 talk a lot of shit. Talk a lot of shit back, yeah. but back it up with an absolute ass whooping that I could lay on him, which I did. <laughs> I shot. I shot excellent. I woke up Saturday morning, went and played uh, a, a nice golf course here in town, Willowbend Country Club. And uh, just beat the fucking piss out of him. I shot an 84, which for me, that's pretty damn good. And uh, he stopped counting whenever he hit like 95. So I think uh, I think I, I laid nice. it on him pretty well. What's like a Tiger Woods score? Uh, 35. No, uh, I'm just kidding. It's, it's like 61. 50s. Yeah, 50s. What, late, or late 50s. What's early. like the best score possible? Uh, well, just a hole, zero? In, a hole in one well, every time. Yeah. So 18. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So 18 is the best you can possibly get. Absolutely. Yeah. And it will never happen. What's the lowest that anybody's ever... Has there ever been anything in the 20s? No. 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 Absolutely no, I not. Bet, I bet you... I, I bet you in the in the... Nah, I would guess it would probably be in like the low forties. That would be that would be pretty fucking amazing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that would be neat though to, to just like <laughs> have like if you could pick a random weird superpower, I'd just be like hole in one every time. No, uh, that would be that would be like. So not fun. That'd after, be boring. After like five, people would be like, you're fucking doing something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. As you're just like not looking and just swinging with one hand. Absolutely. And it goes 800 yards or whatever. I got bugs. Says, oh. uh, sorry to interrupt. No, uh, no. Lowest official recorded round is 55 by oh. Rain Gibson in 2012. 55. Oh, wow. 55. 55. PGA. Okay. All right. Well, and that makes sense. I, I the, it, It's ridiculously hard to hit under 70. Like, I think there's... A lower percentage of people who have been struck by lightning than there have been people that actually consistently hit under seventy. Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. But I, I I did really well, and then on Sunday I went out again and golfed with my wife and a couple of our friends and played like utter dog shit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I got to play a lot of golf, and that's the, my. You needed them to talk shit. Yeah, I did, <laughs> but well, well I, plus when your wife's there, then it adds an extra layer of like, why are you using that one? Oh, and yeah. you're like, oh my god, <laughs> no, it wasn't that. It, it, <laughs> I'm one of those people that I like to get to the golf course like 45 minutes before a tee time, so I can kind of warm up and just kind of get the feel for everything. And my wife fucked that all up. She uh, had the incorrect tee time, which we got there right when we had to be on the tee box. No oh. warm up, and so I was already frustrated and i felt rushed and that makes it 10 times worse mm -hmm. so i didn't play near as good as i wanted to but probably my favorite part of the entire week was i uh, I, I talked a couple of episodes about i took the ps5 from down here in the studio and i moved it up to like a living room area so now i'm getting to play like a lot more ps5 and i got to play co-op mode with my brother on far cry and just blowing shit up it was a blast it was so much fun it was a great it's a great game i have a lot of fun with what that but like five hours of it oh yeah it was, was great dumb yeah it was I awesome. wish we were talking about Nintendo Switch instead. I would, <laughs> you I'd feel involved. Mario yeah. Kart? You Mario Kart that I have, shit? I actually haven't played the newest Mario Kart. I'm just excited the new Zelda game I comes out in like 30-something days. I follow a Twitter <laughs> account that says like how many days until Bre until uh, Tears of the Kingdom come out. Yeah. And every day they just tweet once what? and it's like 36 <laughs> more days. And then I'm just really excited because I've seen some of the like gameplay footage. Sure. And, 
like the first breath of the wild was literally the best video game i've ever played Mm -hmm. so and i've played it for probably like a hundred hours just starting over from the beginning doing different like master mode and that kind of stuff and it's still exciting and so yeah the new one is like oh man can't wait well, that's cool because I'm a big Zelda fan. I think I still think to this day I think one of the probably the best games of all time was like The Legend of Zelda. I wish that when Lord of the Rings came out, one of the first things I thought was I wish Peter Jackson would do a Zelda trilogy. Oh, or that'd something. be dope! I'd like to see a real Zelda movie, especially now that Mario came out and yeah. it's clearly successful. Sure, they should do like a serious, like not cartoony, yeah, fucking badass Zelda movie. That would yeah. be pretty dope. I'd be in for that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that was my week. That and that and playing a lot of MLB The Show 23. Uh, I heard a lot of negative re- reviews on it and still bought it anyway. And those negative re- reviews can go and suck a dick. I think it's awesome. So there's that. That's my week. Uh, Fred, you've had probably the most entertaining last couple of weeks out of all of us. You go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you know, my couch misses me. Yeah. I miss my couch. Right. Um, no, it's been a long time I've been since I've been on. So yeah. thanks again for letting me come on again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I guess we'll start off with the biggest thing. Yeah. Why not, right? Right. Uh, we just got back from another Disney World trip. Yeah. We uh, did. By the way, he goes to Disney like maybe once a month. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. We went seven you, with times your, last With year. your boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah, we hold wieners. Nice. Okay. <laughs> we safe on the ride. So. Sweet. They, they dock it. I mean, it's easier. Yeah. Um, no, but they opened up the Tron roller coaster. Yeah. So we rode it. Yeah. And I, I don't... I, yeah. Yeah? It's amazing but it's lacking so much really yeah okay yeah the the setup to it the pre-show all that stuff was pretty uneventful yeah the the ride itself is epic but it's only 56 seconds fuck Mm. that yeah yeah i need i want eight minutes of roller coaster (laughs) oh hell yeah (laughs) yes straight up that's true it's still really awesome a great adrenaline rush but i wish it was you know 90 seconds yeah that'd be cool a little bit longer over a minute come on Yeah. yeah 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 Um, same time though, uh, while we were there, I did go ahead and propose. Holy shit! Hey. So I am now a betrothed man. What well, betrothed? Yeah, Colin called me and told me. Oh, <laughs> is that? What, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought betrothed was actually like wed, isn't it? Am I don't I, know. I don't know. It's I, the same thing to me, right? Uh, yeah, wedding, pretty much. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a feat of of impossibility because all of us were like, "Yeah, he's never gonna fucking yeah, get married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. never so, gonna so fucking do it." I still got a year to. Yes, yeah, true. Survive. That's you can true. Back out yeah. Anytime. So, yeah. Can I talk you out of it? I mean, <laughs> she might come over here. She, knows, she does know where you live. That's just she true. Does yeah. Listen to the show. Yeah, so. that's crazy. I'm sorry. I do love her. She's way better of a person than you are. I know. I that's why I had to propose. Like, mm-hmm. I, yeah, she makes she me better. Puts up with you. Yeah. Doesn't kick you out of. Well, she does kick you out of bed from time to time, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but what else? Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. Um, j- one last thing on that. We did try uh, in Disney. I uh, went to a tequila tequila bar. Yeah. And did some tasting and tried Michael Jordan's tequila. Yeah. <laughs> Sin Coro. Can you just guess how much one shot was? Well, I already know the answer. Ask oh, okay. Mike. $86. Close. Nah, not even close. What? <laughs> $230 for a shot. Did you have a shot? Uh, between the six of us, yes. You had one shot <laughs> yeah. and you oh all like God. took a tiny yeah. sip of it? <laughs> yeah. And you were like, yeah, that, that's yep. pretty. I mean, was it epic? Like It was the best thing I've ever liquid-wise put in my mouth. Really? Yeah. Wow. Over like hot, chocolate hot milk and yep. hot cum? Yep. I've, yeah. Wow. Yep. Not yep. where I was going with that. It, it, it <laughs> well, slid down easier than hot cum. <laughs> wow. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, it comes so, kind of chunky. Go get it. What's but, the most expensive sh- shot you could take? I They're, mean, not that they thing. had they had a shelf up there with three bottles, and those were the expensive ones. And Michael Jordan's was the least expensive. Really? Yeah. Oh, holy shit! There was shit. a four hundred dollar shot, and it looked like a Patron, but I couldn't tell. And something I never heard of, and it was a nine hundred dollar shot. Jesus Christ! Yeah. And you know that like there's people that are like around for the table. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's just oh, like yeah. here's my card, yeah. put Run it on it there, up. and I'd be like, oh my god, can I can I plug it's in my square card it. reader, and <laughs> will you just give me like a little bit of right. money? Just let me smell it for twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So you got the you got the shot of tequila. Yep. And uh, what else did you do there in Disney? I mean, everything. We did VIP tours. So we got to ride every coaster. My, uh, my favorite, my favorite part was like the pictures. 
like the pictures of you actually proposing. Oh, that okay. was that yeah. was hilarious because I you had like Elsa in the background and I and I, my wife was the one who pointed it out. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, you dropped to one knee and then like you can see in the background the person who's the character's playing Elsa's just like what the fuck? Yeah, she, just kind of like she's turn like got her that. Hands up like yeah. I don't know if it's part of the show or she actually saw us. But. Oh, she probably sees ten engagements per day. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, and so they're like told like all those actors are told like. If somebody proposes, look yeah. shocked. Don't yeah. be like, what are they doing? <laughs> Losers. You gotta be like, oh my. They're, they're probably you like too? fake smiling like, oh my God. <laughs> Fifth one today. Yeah. You know? I remember yeah. that slightly related. My mom and dad went to like this piano bar once and it was around my mom's birthday. And so they're eating dinner and there's a guy playing piano and the guy asked like, is it anybody's birthday? Or, or somehow he found out. And this is my dad description of it he goes son that man made up a song about your mom off the top of his head and i just remember thinking like no he fucking didn't like he sang the birthday song that he sings every fucking to night everybody. and then added pam in there instead of whatever other name but they yeah. were impressed you know yeah. oh yeah that's what works that's exactly right uh, but so anything else other than that? Uh, I mean, no, not really. I mean, it's a I big played, fucking deal. Yeah, I know it is. It's a big deal. So now the wedding planning starts. There you go. Yeah. Let her just uh, let her pick stuff. <laughs> it's, it's not worth the right. argument to be like, do you think those napkins are too dark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's like and, and I think this is what you guys are doing. But go with me on this. I think the guy has to somewhat participate uh -huh. in order for the wife to think that she, that he actually cares a little bit about the day. That right. Is her day anyway. And instead of just being like, I don't care. I don't give right. a shit. Like no. the guy in uh, the wedding singer. Exactly. No, I let her handle yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. No, so I think the easiest thing, especially if guys, if you're in a relationship and you think you're going to get married, I think the easiest thing for guys to be in control of are the colors. 100%. 100%. 100%. You, you can pick. That's it, what I did. And, and, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Because then she's going to be like, okay, these are our colors, and this is the shit that we have to buy in order for it to actually look nice and pretty. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Everything else is all on her, and it's just a whew, easy, easy peasy. Hmm. That's what I think. Well, Hopefully, I get to have those problems no, one day. Don't. No, you don't. Hit me oh. up, ladies. <laughs> Let's get married. That's what I want to like. I I want to do it like uh like nineteen hundred style, where it's like let's get married immediately yeah and then and just then promise to never that's the one thing that we promise to each other we're never gonna get divorced okay and just have to make it work well that's kind of the idea i think but i just need somebody to agree quickly oh. okay okay <laughs> otherwise i'll be like if we're together for a year then i'll be like i don't want to marry that's this not. chick like i know this <laughs> this and this about her and now. she's fucking crazy <laughs> Ah, uh, they all are. Yeah. They all are. Uh, exactly. But anyways, yeah. That. Uh, well, I'm glad all of us had a great week. Um, it's got. It's good to have all of you guys back. We've got a great show. Before we get on to the fun parts of the show, we got to talk about our sponsor. I actually have two this week. Nice. Uh, first things first. We always got to give a shout out to our main sponsor, which is Manscaped. Manscaped. That's right. The uh, zero turn radius lawnmower 4.0. Shave your balls in all different directions, and it has that adjustable LED light, just in case if you want to shave your balls in the dark um there are other products uh the lawnmower 4.0 just happens to be their flagship product but they have other products like uh the ball toner mm. you know that tones your balls, tones the balls hmm. but more importantly the heat is now right around the corner to where you are going to start having uh as saturday night live used to say sweaty balls so they have a product called the ball deodorants ball. Love it. That's right, because Love that makes it. your balls nice and tingly and not smell like Femunda, so that's very, very important. Does it taste like something, though? Like I, if, a, if a girl's licking my balls, you, is she going to be like, did you put something on these? <laughs> I'm candy. sure. We would have to actually ask uh, JP for that uh, particular detail, but he's not here today. But I'm sure that it probably tastes not like Femunda cheese, I would guess. Maybe mm. like paint, probably. Or like, it's like may, maybe it's flavored, you know? It's oh, like, it could be. Or like those markers that smell like stuff. Right. I want like a, I want li <laughs> licorice balls. <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> well, just get out that magic marker and just start and coloring just start your coloring. dick in. No, that's racist, dude. <laughs> They, you, they'd be able to tell. You it. know what color licorice is. <laughs> you I sure can't. do. And you can't this, put that same color on your face. This but guy's doing black balls. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> 
Can't do that one. Can't do that one, apparently. I'm like, I just wanted them to smell nice. <laughs> See, that's why you need Manscaped that's instead. Right. There you go. That's right. But they do have a whole bunch of other products that you can check out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES, get 20% off of your order, and get free shipping as well. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are doing these commercials word for word. Yeah. But uh, I also have another shout out I wanted to give out to uh, coming up in August. I've kind of said a little bit about this and going back and forth with these guys is really, really awesome. Uh, the battle cord and care packages dot com. Uh, their link is in our bio on TikTok and all of our links rather as well. Um, but they are having a gala that's coming up in August. They're, they have a goal, I believe, of $25,000 to try to raise to help uh, make gifts for kids with uh, basically it's uh, pediatric cancer, mm. which is it, which is really cool. Uh, go check them out at um, uh, battlecorncarepackages.com. Excellent people with an excellent uh, a task ahead of them, and uh, they're awesome. So I want to give them a shout-out every chance I get. Uh, awesome, awesome group of people. But now... We get to give on or get on to the actual fun stuff. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Generally, we like to talk about sports. This Sorry. is still sporty. It's kind of sporty. It's sports related. It's yeah, I guess. Trees uh, almost couple. fell on golf fans. That's a funny one right there. That's sports. Probably one of the most recognized golf tournaments in the entire world is the Masters tournament at Augusta. And they have a probably the most beautiful golf course on the face of the planet. And that's why they play there. And they have these giant, I don't even want to know, probably like 30-foot, 40-foot trees, maybe taller. Oh, I bet they're 100 uh, Probably. And just in the middle of, like, they had to they had to pause the, the actual play. Oh, yeah. Right? And then because of a weather warning, and then all of a sudden, a giant tree that comes down with two other trees while it was going down and almost crushes spectators on the side fucking scary as shit could you imagine that goddamn thing coming down on you uh i mean i mean i can yes i can imagine it <laughs> kind of scary was it so it was the wind that did it i'm assuming so i saw the video of it actually happen it didn't look all crazy windy but these yeah. things are tall and they're they're i don't know they're, they're not very big around they're not huge around they're pretty fucking girthy but they're not like a redwood or anything like right that. they're just tall and kind of skinny trees for how tall they are and it's fucking crazy i feel like the trees that i've seen fall in my life have fallen at such a speed and i've watched enough movies to know like if a thing is coming at you in a straight line run that yeah, way yeah, go to the run side. to the side everybody in a movie runs so yeah, yeah i know they're trying to like outrun the tip of the tree and it's like dude just take just, one step oh. to the right and you're a-okay right uh but luckily nobody was injured everything that i heard the reason why the trees fell was because they got so much water so the ground was really really wet and maybe just the sway of the trees it, it actually uprooted the tree and that's what ended up taking it down but it's pretty fucking scary especially for as well kept of a course that that is it's kind of nuts that it actually was going to fall and yeah. possibly it, it possibly it would have killed somebody if it would have fell on somebody wow 100 percent of the time 100%. it's going to kill kill somebody um but it was uh, it was a pretty excellent uh, golf tournament um john rom ended up winning the masters mm -hmm. this year which i thought was pretty cool uh but was it probably kind of sad i guess for me is i think everybody kind of secretly wants tiger woods to do really well in these tournaments just because you know he's at the end of his career he's coming back from a horrible car accident which he had his fucking legs basically snapped in half on both sides Ugh. it was pretty rough um but he ended up having to withdraw from the masters which initially it was his plantar fasciitis was acting up but per jason day uh he actually withdrew because he had a screw protruding from the skin of one of the bones of his reconstructive leg dude can we just get Yikes. can we just oh. get robot robot legs oh, already sure yeah. like we're there man we are there let's i want to just chop off my body from Absolutely. the waist down oh. and have robot shit Fuck. robot wiener yeah like same feeling <laughs> they can do it yeah. come on elon that's right high-tech wieners that'd be awesome right do you feel anything though or just just your no part? i i mean in a perfect world yes it oh, would, okay i would feel my feet i could i could like okay feel my toenails and everything sure. and people oh. are like why would you put toenails on robot legs and yeah. it's like because it's realistic uh, it's true because I, I want to I, yeah i actually found out that this is a real thing so if you actually have a person that had their like they they went through life with a limb and then it got cut off 
they can still feel uh-huh. with. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it's called. It's like phantom phantom feeling. limb. Yeah. Phantom limb. I had no idea, and that's fucking trippy. That's craziness, but I that's mean, pretty cool. It makes sense though. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Oh yeah. I That's did the nuts. same thing when I was uh, when I was in like eighth grade. I grew my hair really long. I had like a bowl cut, so it was like shaved underneath and oh, was super I, long. And oh, I had yeah, the I bangs and everything, and oh, I would yeah. do this all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, and just like jerk my head back. Oh, yeah. yeah, and but oh, then yeah. after I cut my hair, I found myself still doing that movement <laughs> for like a year after that. Really? Just like standing at football practice and being like that, and people were like, "What's wrong with you?" And I'm like, "I don't know, <laughs> I'm just phantom hair, <laughs> I have phantom bangs." Yeah, yeah that Tourette's. Uh, but um, I guess the news that happened, I guess, in football as well, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. finally signs with a team. He's got the Baltimore Ravens, uh, so that means Lamar Jackson. I, I guess maybe he sticks around for that. I don't know, but we will see. Uh, but what, other, yeah, what, uh, Is there an, an OB senior? I'm sure. Well, I mean, of course there, there is, be. but was yeah. he a football guy also? Uh, maybe. But still just sticking with the junior in yeah. his name, even though nobody yeah. knows nobody who his knows dad who is. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. You know. That's cool. That is kind of cool. Um, but that's pretty much all the sports. I don't really want to get into much of it. Now we get to have a little bit fun with actual current events uh, that I think you guys would actually be interested in. Uh, they announced that they are going to have a follow-up movie about ray uh that is currently in the works and that is the star wars ray uh, i and thought you meant the blind piano player guy no that was a good they're movie. making a sequel i mean he may have a cameo in he's there still blind they yeah. should have <laughs> is he really though <laughs> come see the movie you'll find out okay. i don't know i saw somebody wave at him and he <laughs> wave back. really yes Maybe he just heard people being like, hi, yeah, and he was like, like, hello, yeah. <laughs> I know what to do now. I, this is something, though, that I'm actually kind of curious about. So they're making a movie about uh, a Star Wars character that I really don't know too many people that really fucking liked. Yeah, I didn't. I enjoyed the movie. Which one? The whatever ones all had her in them? it. Yeah, they the were fine. Awakens they're were, all good. I, yeah. think the, I think The Force Awakens was good, and then the rest were shit. Yeah, I mean, I just thought all of them. People, I mean, people want movies to like solve some problem in their life or something, and movies don't usually do that. You just like go and you're like, yeah, Yeah, that's that's that was a story. Mm -hmm. I watched it and things happened and now it's over it's very rare that a movie makes you be like oh my god right that was so fucking good but we found i guess this is my whole bitch is that we pretty much found out her lineage we know where she comes from why do we need to expand on that me personally if you're going to go into the star wars universe and break something down i got a perfect character go after yoda we have no fucking clue where he comes from. All we know is we currently have Grogu, the baby Yoda that we, we currently have in Mandalorian, and we have no fucking clue where that comes from either. So I'm sitting here going, all right, dive into that. Give me something new. I'm sick and tired of them going, all right, well, we're going to have a spinoff of this particular character that not everybody really gives a shit about. I and wanna, that's where I'm at. I want a whole movie about the the family of whatever the thing was called that he cut the stomach open on and oh, put yeah. Luke inside it. I, I, I want to know that animal's origin story. Yeah, the part dragon, part emu looking snow I want to go back 10 generations. I don't remember what they're called. I'm, drawing a blank I'm blanking too. too, yeah, so I can't remember. But yeah, sure, that'd be fine. That's how much I've watched all that shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't follow it that much. If, if they're making a new even the marvel movies are not like the uh, up until the last thanos movie Mm -hmm. i was fully into it and Mm -hmm. then loki i was totally into loki and whatever wandavision and since then it's been like i don't know it all just seems a little cheesy and like love and thunder thor love and thunder that's shit movie (laughs) yeah i i did get a little i got like I don't want to say excited, but just whatever word I'm trying to think when he like gave his power to all the kids yeah, and they got to like use their teddy bear as a weapon weapon. and shit. I was like, that's kind of neat and fun, I guess. But yeah, I want to 
beat the shit out of somebody with a teddy bear and it actually hurt that'd be badass right but i mean i've been hurt with pillows and stuffed animals before really yeah from friends that take pillow fights too fucking seriously (laughs) i'm like we're just having a fun sleepover and there's always (laughs) that one guy that like puts it over (laughs) the next level why'd you fucking hit me so hard (laughs) the zipper hit my eye What fucking pillow has a zipper on it? Right. Um, oh, shit. I did uh, see this, though. Uh, there was a big UFC fight over the weekend that yeah. I forgot to mention here. Uh, and uh, it was Israel Adesanya against Alex, I believe I pronounce his name right, Pieria or something like that. And uh, Alex Pera is the um, is the current champion at the time. And Israel Adesanya kind of has a feud with this guy, and so I think it's the third time total that they've actually met in uh, in the oct- or technically second in the octagon, and once in like Pride or some shit like that. And uh, Israel Adesanya actually knocks the guy out, and then after it, while he's parading around in the cage, finds that guy's son. <laughs> crying about his dad getting knocked the fuck out uh. and he taunts his it probably is he had to have been like 11 years old or 12 years oh, old no. oh god <laughs> he, he, he acts like he just got knocked out and goes to sleep and just stares at the kid and just like like absolutely openly trolls this kid and i'm like oh shit but what did the kid say <laughs> to deserve that i don't know maybe nothing maybe nothing but maybe something maybe. israel adesanya later admits he goes ah yeah i am a little petty like i'm not sorry for doing that <laughs> right. i'm just petty like god you're a dick i mean why can how old do you have to be to go to a ufc you can just it's all ages sure it's it a, doesn't matter yeah fun-filled family yeah so i mean i'm sure that kid was there like go dad like you're going <laughs> you're down my hero. Hero. Yeah. like that kind of stuff yeah. so i mean maybe i'm sure he wasn't just sitting there like in just politely watching oh, the sure. fight the whole time Absolutely. so this guy's like man fuck this guy and fuck this kid <laughs> Fuck all of his fans. This is how you create murderers, though. Like, this is what ends up happening. Well, that's what I was just thinking. Like, yeah. now that kid's going to be like, that kid's going to fight that, that kid, dude's kid. That's right. In 30 years or whatever. He's going to kill him in the ring. Like, he's going to have a shank in and his And then shorts. the guy will be in a Josh! wheelchair and shit, and then he'll do the thing to him. <laughs> yes, that's right. Son of a bitch. How uh, does it feel? <laughs> oh, man. I worked my Ooh. whole life for this. Yeah, um, but on a, I guess a little bit more of a touchier subject, I did see something that really fucking irked the shit out of me. I guess if you've listened to the show long enough, you kind of understand something about myself. I'm, I really appreciate the women's sports that are actually very entertaining. Like I love watching UFC women fight. I think it's the best fucking thing in the world. Um, but I, I was kind of pr- uh, privy to seeing shit on Twitter. Now that we're on Twitter, I get a lot of stuff that comes through there a mm-hmm. lot more than facebook or anything like that but i saw that the uh the swimmer for kentucky that was actually going for her ncaa title which apparently she was ranked one of the best in the world Mm -hmm. and then also the other people in the same race were also some of the best female athletes in the world that were swimmers and it was that whole ordeal where i believe her name was lisa thomas Leah. leah leah thomas that's right um ended up I guess tying with her Mm -hmm. and but they um, were like you she needs to hold the trophy because we need it for the publicity for the publicity and then all she was doing was being like uh yeah is there are we really fucking doing this yes and everybody's like how dare you so I just kind of stumbled upon this and then I scrolled down for another like minute and all of a sudden, this person is now going around and actually giving speeches about how it needs to be women against women, biological men and all that other stuff need mm-hmm. to go up against biological men. And she went to San Francisco State University, got assaulted, held for ransom in order to be freed, like to leave safely. Yeah, kind of. Straight yeah. Up. I mean, it was de- they, she was definitely assaulted. She was definitely trapped in a room. But the ransom thing was just like one dude there that was like, give us all $10 and we'll move out of the way. <laughs> right. What in the fuck is going on here? Oh, I mean, it's just activism. You know, it's, it's not. Balls. I guarantee 90% of the people on that video in that hallway are not trans people or lgb anything they're just they're like supporting their fucking what they think 
this is, is the right thing or whatever. But this is the biggest display of like, um, oh, what do you call it? Virtue signaling. Sure. Mm -hmm. That I've ever fucking seen. This person's just going to talk about something, which it makes perfect fucking sense. Like, I know we've briefly talked about it on the show, but I was actually genuinely pissed off about this. It's like, she's got a good fucking point. That person was an act was competing against men for three years in college and in the fourth year transitioned and is now smoking all these females. But when he was competing against men, he was in the 400s yeah. as far as his ranking in swimming. Well, it's the same as uh, whatever the dude's name was that beat the uh, Williams sisters at tennis. He was oh, ranked yeah. like hundred and yeah. something, two hundred. Yeah, that's right. And he was like, "Yeah, I'll play." And he played them both back to back and beat both of them. Beat both of them. And I think uh, the like the shocking thing was that Venus. I think he said, "I believe no, it was Serena actually won a point, and that was like huge hmm. to, it, because of, it was how rare it was." Mm -hmm. But I mean, this whole bullshit is getting ridiculous. And the people joke about like it's a slippery slope, but I mean literally you're going to see somebody playing like uh Pop Warner football at like 35 and being like no, I identify as 11 yeah. and just fucking yeah. laying <laughs> kids <laughs> out, you know. Yeah. Like it's not people laugh about it, but like how far are we from that actually being the case? I like, I think it already has happened. Like 10 years ago, if somebody was like, hey, you're going to be able to pick whatever gender you want in the year 2020, we'd yeah. be like, fuck you. Yeah. Like, it's, it, yeah, things are crazy, but it's never going to be that crazy. Yeah. And no. now it's like, you're How a, much more crazy can we You're get? a bigot if you won't blow a dude with a dress on because <laughs> his wiener is not a real wiener. Yeah. You fucking bigot. No, I'm getting, I mean, and, and granted, I, and I'm glad that we're having this conversation and, and not bringing politics into it, but this is actually just like logic and facts at this point. This is science, yeah. really. Well, and I think, I don't know if it was this weekend or not with the UFC fight, but. Uh, yeah, what's her name? Man, Fallon Fox. Fallon whatever. Fox. Uh, but this is this has been several years ago. Was it? Was yes. It, uh, the biological male fought the woman and fractured her skull and did not say anything. Yeah, didn't say right. anything. And then you heard the the microphone report, or like the the commentary afterwards. You're like, whoa, that's <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like a woman at all. And it's and it turns out it's like no, it was a biological male that transitioned and then was physically beating the fucking shit to the point of breaking and cracking somebody's skull. skull. Yeah. And that's, orbital bone, I believe. Uh, well, it's still a skull. Yeah, uh, it is. I, but I don't give a fuck. But that's a lot easier to break than it is to fucking like break your skull. I don't know. I want to say it was actually the side of her head because I think if I remember right, and I could be wrong, so don't go with me on this. But I think it was like a knee that they that she took. She took a knee. Yeah, and I don't know, did, man. But but it doesn't matter. Like I think that we've now got to the point to where it's like, listen, I, I think all of us up here will sit there and say, like, we really don't give a fuck what you do after you're the age of eighteen. You're an adult. It's no different than me going somebody wants to tattoo their body to, and split their tongue to look like a fucking dragon i don't give a fuck you do you dude i don't care it's not my big deal but yeah, i but think when they're like call me a dragon yeah and you're like, like i'm not gonna call deal. me tell me that i'm a dragon <laughs> yeah no i mean it's really ridiculous it, and it, it's getting to that point it is and yeah. it's but neither side is is budging but that's how the overton window works you know what the overton window Absolutely, is yeah like that's it never moves to the right it always Always just moves to the left mm -hmm. so like in the 90s it was like don't ask don't tell yeah like, you can be gay i don't want to know about it don't tell me about it and now it's like Tell women me, can be men all and all of the don't ask don't tell people are standing there like wait what the fuck happened yeah like i thought we agreed like okay you can ask and tell but that's it <laughs> <laughs> and it's still like it's never it's always just moving to the left and i and i think that it to me i've got to a, an actual point of of frustration because it's not just like okay you know, you're doing you that's perfectly fine now it's like no we got to put them on a pedestal higher than everybody else that's and exactly make them out to be and, and celebrate this and it's like yo dog this is getting a little fucking crazier and crazier and crazier sure and i don't know especially in the sporting world i think it kind of it's now kind of is rolling over to everyday life i mean this is this is something that we've been talking about at least now into the sporting world for I think two to three years when you had wrestler like a, a biological female that was taking testosterone wrestling other women and and the other women didn't stand a chance because she was taking something that was oh but it was just minute uh, you can obviously tell the bone structure is changing you can see that yeah 
but now it's rolling over to everyday life and i think it's actually kind of funny and there's and there's kind of some pushback about it and i don't really care but like companies like bud light right we everybody there's memes fucking everywhere now which i get a fucking kick out of i'm not going to sit here and lie about it but they have chosen a tiktok transgender that has is transitioning from male to female and they're deciding to put them on a can now granted you can't go to the store i've heard and buy this particular can no they just sent him one. they just sent him one her whatever i don't care It, it doesn't matter at this point but they, they, they sent them a can, and and now, like, they are putting a campaign together for this. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't drink Bud Light anyway. It doesn't affect me in any way. It's shit beer anyways. But what fucking chaps my ass more than the fucking Bud Light can? This person is now their face for a campaign for Tampax. This is getting fucking Damn ridiculous. Man. This is getting ridiculous. Tampax is a fucking company that is specific for female period stuff, right? And you've got a video of this particular individual testing out a tampon. What are you going to do? Shut up your ass and pull out? Is it like the dry douche or something that you're deciding to do? Uh, What the fuck is going on? I don't know. But here's the thing. These are private companies. They have the choice to be able to do something, whatever it is that they want to do to hopefully look good in the limelight of their consumer. The problem is, is I think the marketing of both of these companies have seriously missed it. And I think they're going to suffer for it. I really do. Oh, they have. Buff, they, they I mean, have. everybody says Bud Light's really hurting. Okay. It's down like a percent and a half it's or two percent, two and a half, two and a half now. It's, 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 it's affecting other people that work as a distributor though, too. Yeah, and I've, the, I've heard those, I see stories. those people. Yeah. Cause if they don't sell those products as well, and even if they disagree with Bud Light, they're the ones also getting hurt too. Yeah, but it goes all the way to the top to this to this VP of uh, of Bud Light that decided to do this, and basically she said that it doesn't. We don't think that Bud Light can survive as the fratty beer anymore. We need to be an inclusive company in order for the company to survive. Bull fucking shit. Know your customers. You stupid. Ah, I'm, it just it's so frustrating because everybody that I went to college still drinks Bud Light and now they're going like this is they're kind of like me they're hitting a threshold and they're going okay wait a minute this is getting way too fucking crazy I'm not drinking Bud Light anymore and that's how you end up putting them out of business is you basically do it with your dollars because that is what sends the big message in my opinion well Bud Light is a lot easier to boycott than Tampax correct like <laughs> how many girls are like all right fine yeah. I'm not yeah, fucking buying it. anything anymore cloth. yeah and now we're like uh can you wipe the bus seat off miss <laughs> and she's like I'm boycotting <laughs> all right uh, all right I know it's a touchy subject but I wanted to because it's everywhere it's it's it, everywhere, it's everywhere yeah. now. The, I mean, my main concern is, you know, everybody's like, oh, you're boycotting Bud Light, but look at what uh, Keystone did at Miller Light. On everybody's website, every liquor, they have rainbows. Yeah. And it, yeah, we used to pro- Pride Month, whatever. It's the fact to me that Bud Light chose to specifically go well to, after the transgender? To print the first female uh-huh. on a can, even if it's not for sale, is not a real woman. Correct. So every woman that came before this man, yeah, is worthless. I, I agree, and <laughs> like, I think I didn't. You weren't good enough. That's so. a that's a good point because I, I I kind of see that too. It's actually taking away from actual biological I, women that have amazing accomplishments, amazing accomplishments, there's a, amazing there's a, stories. The first woman is going to the moon right now. That's pretty fucking dope. Why the hell isn't she celebrated? I agree. And the you other know? thing they did like something for ESPN uh, about like women achievements, and they put the Leah Thomas in there and and, and left out. <laughs> The girl from from Kentucky. And I'm like, what in the fuck is going on here? This is getting ridiculous. And listen, I, I, again, I'm, I'm to the point where you're an adult. You do whatever the fuck you want to do with your life. But it, it's whenever you are starting to make me do something in order to fit in your reality when you don't live in actual reality actual, sure and that, that's that's kind of where i'm like all right i'm drawing the line here that's this what is my deal. I, I don't know if i brought this up on this podcast or on some other podcast Probably that I did, one. <laughs> but 
It's like when you're telling me what pronouns to use, like if I'm talking to you, the pronouns that I use are you yeah. and me right. or I or whatever. Like right. there's no he or she or any of that shit. Right. When you're telling me your pronouns, you're not telling me how I talk to you. You're telling me how I have to talk about you <laughs> when you're not else. even around. Yeah. Yeah. Like how yeah. the fuck is that your choice? Yes. What? I, like it's, uh, oh. it's, it's my right as a human being and as an American to be like, <laughs> fuck that guy yeah. like did you exactly. hear the shit that guy was it, and it's like it's okay for everything else under the sun except for this one thing if yeah. a guy's like hey i'm gonna i quit my job i'm gonna get into real estate and shit like you can be like what the fuck dude yeah. come on you're you were great at your job and real estate's for fucking pussies yeah. like you can say whatever you want but if a guy's like hey i'm, I'm not a guy anymore then you just got to be like excellent choice yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can't be like what the excellent. fuck are you talking about yeah. like that's just bigotry immediately yeah and i think that's something that a lot of people that really frustrates me is that that's the knee-jerk reaction it's like oh well you're a horrible person or you're a bigot or something like that it's just like no it, it doesn't make sense because it it doesn't make makes sense logically it really doesn't and that's i think what's frustrating to me being a logical person and trying to think through this exact argument and granted this is the very first time we've talked about this in depth on this show because it's a comedy show but i think it's it's gotten to a fucking point to where it's like this is getting way out of fucking well, hand it's almost easier for all of us three yeah. to now identify as a woman great because if we are biological males identify as a woman, we'll get promotions faster. Yeah, but the only thing is, is that if you tried to do that, if you tried to do that and say, okay, fine, well, you know what? I, I, I agree with you. Now I identify as a woman. Uh -huh. the, the people that are, are pro trans on that are like, oh, yeah. yeah, but you don't really think it. You really, you're just doing it to prove a point. It's like, wait the fuck. I mean, what the fuck kind of crazy <laughs> world are you yeah. living in? Damn it. Yeah. Like this is this is what I'm talking about, and it, and it's just it's to the points where I'm frustrated, and it's like I, again I don't care, but just leave me the fuck alone. That's where I'm at. So that's 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 my stick. Anybody else have anything to add I on just, that? I just we can go on forever. I know so we, it's crazy. We better move on. I just don't want to see a circus anywhere. Like yeah, I don't want to experience a circus when I'm at, in line at the bank. And that includes anything. You know, I don't want a girl fighting with her boyfriend in front of me in line. It's mm -hmm. like, fucking do that in the car. Yeah. Right. If Go a guy, if I'm in line at the bank and a dude behind me starts playing guitar, I'm going to be like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, just be a normal, calm person yeah, a, when you're in public. Be a and human. Well, anything human else, you're just, to everyone. You're yeah. just being public, a circus. Like, yeah. and, and that's just for attention. And I don't like it. Oh, that's another thing. And, and I guess I'll wrap it up is, is I think now it's also being becoming trendy oh yeah very it's being very trendy well and it's if it's the one thing that you don't have to do anything to just say yeah so people are like i i think a lot like when I was in high school, if I if all this stuff was going on then, yeah. I would have been that guy that's like, I'm a girl. I'm going into the locker room. <laughs> and they'd be like, you can't go into the... And I'd be like, you're being a bigot. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm sure some of these kids are like that. They're Maybe. just being dicks and being like, I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I wish that I could wear a, a dress during the summer because of... My balls because breathe. of comfort. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But now they went and ruined it. <laughs> guy can't just wear a dress and anymore without Ugh. being labeled oh well there you go whoa oh, man. Ah, anyways all right well that's the current events that i i had for us today now we get to move on to the fun yeah we're gonna we're gonna pop Ooh. it up a little bit of a notch i, hope, I, I hope think you so listeners out uh -oh. there oh, oh, all right man. what's the thing okay well we're gonna kick this off with overrated or underrated again guys if you do have any suggestions to us you can still send them to us at uh, our Instagram page, which is at laughing on the sidelines. And now you can send them to us on Twitter. That includes messages. I have it opened up to where you can send them to us there. And that's kind of where it sounds like we're going to end up moving. So they quit taking down our fucking jokes. Uh, but that is at L O T sidelines. Uh, and uh, make sure you tag yourself or let us know who you are. If you'd like to get some credit for it. So send us to, or send them to those places. We sincerely do appreciate it. All of our links are in our bio. And to kick this thing off, we got overrated or underrated, and we've got the very first one. So the first one is going to be overrated or underrated 
Disney themed wedding. I feel like this is a personal jab. <laughs> it's a personal jab. <laughs> well, as often as you go to Disney, dude, I think it's 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 kind of about time well, wait that till I you have, go with this, and uh, you'll you'll understand. I, I've never been, and I'm 35 years old, and I've never been to Disney World or Disneyland. My parents hated me, just like everybody else. I didn't go till I was in my 30s. Oh, okay. Well, so. then you kind of feel feel my feel my situation. <laughs> I think that's why I go so much now is to make up for that. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I put but, this question specifically in there for you, so we can have this particular conversation. Are we overrated or underrated on? What Disney themed so, weddings? <laughs> so, uh, uh, extravagant. That's not what I said. Huge Disney theme. Uh huh. Uh, overrated. Okay. Disgusting, gross. A hint of Disney because that's you know we go we love Disney but we're having a hint of Star Wars in our wedding. All the children running around. That's your favorite part. <laughs> oh, yep. Well, no, the children are going to be slain by lightsabers. Oh, got it. Oh, so, yeah, fair enough. Okay. So they won't be there anymore. Okay. So that little bit, mm-hmm. you know, that brings in our personality. I think that's. Um, not even underrated. I think that's a good touch. That's a good touch. But okay. But, yeah, if you're going all out and getting married at Disney and everybody has to wear Mickey Mouse ears, yeah, overrated. Yeah, okay. I, I, and I, I would say it's also overrated, and I think you do. I think you do a pretty good job. I know you're a huge Star Wars fan, and, and you have little subtleties around the house uh, in certain places, and I think it's actually kind of cool because if you don't know... It just looks it like just a looks like, it's yeah. Just, hey, you it's, have art. Oh, that's a yes, piece. I do. Of, yeah, it's kind of it. But if you if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going that's fucking awesome. So I think it's actually pretty pretty dope. So I'll say it's overrated unless it's a little a little you know hint. Just the tip. Just the tip. That's right. How about you there, Mike? I don't care. <laughs> I don't, either way, I I would shake my head at the wedding regardless of the theme or anything. Okay. I'd just be like, wow, you guys spent a lot of money doing this, huh? <laughs> Like, is that, I feel like the, how much is a wedding? 10 grand, 20 grand, probably 50 for a really good one, I guess. Sure. Like the, I feel like we could use that money for something better. One hundred percent, and st- and just like rent a hall and have a friend do it, and sure, just friends and family. Like I don't, I feel I don't know. Yeah, no. Like I, all right, guys, we have to order a hundred and eighty Mickey Mouse ears, <laughs> and they all have to be the right size for everybody. Because you remember last year, Grandma got a headache because hers were too tight, <laughs> and that will not happen again. Uh, fair enough. All right, uh, next one: overrated or underrated? Saving yourself until marriage. Underrated. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I think it's like it's it's How not How are you doing on that by the way? I'm I've had, 41 and 0. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten married yet and I haven't saved myself <laughs> for very many people. <laughs> But a couple of the girls that I still talk to, not that, anyway, okay, I'll just, <laughs> one, one particular girl that I still am in contact with after years and years did not, wouldn't even like make out with me or anything on the first couple of dates that we had. And that was a surprise to me because sure. I was on Tinder at the time. I was, chicks were coming over and just fucking you know legs wide open sex immediately yeah (laughs) Yeah. and that was fine too but then i remember like liking this girl extra because i was like damn it like we've been on two dates she like let me give her a peck on the lips and then left and i'm like what the fuck (laughs) so when it finally happened then it was like wow like this was worth the wait you know so i imagine that a marriage would be uh, the same sort of unless it was terrible and that's the conundrum is like <laughs> you know exactly. i don't want the the my favorite part of your body to be your worst part of your body yeah mm-hmm. uh that's exactly the reason everything you said i agree with wholeheartedly but the fear of it being that fucking awful outweighs what you just said yeah if, but if neither one of you had done anything with anyone else before that if you're sure. legit saving yourself yeah. then you have nothing to compare it to. oh yeah learning how to do it together right that's fine yeah no i, I still say absolutely not yeah I, I i think that it's overrated i think y- you gotta fuck like wild animals at least one time before you get married because then yeah then you know right I think then at that point that, you know, is this the one? Yeah, I can do that a lot more often. Yeah, okay, we'll do this. But if you don't have any idea in like the very first time, even if you talk about it with them, it's like, all right, this is the kind of thing that I'm into. Are, are you down? And then she says yes, and you put the ring on the finger, and it's just like, nah, I don't yeah. really like to do that. I got you. <laughs> but no. in, in my experience, the better the sex is, the worse the relationship ends mm. up being. 
you need that uh, fu- it's a uh, you need that balance you know okay and that's why the the getting to know each other having things in common is more important than the good sex yep. because if everything else is good with the two of you then you can work it out or maybe you both hope. of you are like, I don't even feel like having sex. I don't even like it that much. And you're like, hell yeah, high five. Let's fucking watch another episode of Lost. Yeah, I've been together with my wife for 12 years. What did I tell you? Uh, anyway, how about you, Fred? I mean, you guys are making sense. I get it. Um, definitely overrated. I just Who who the fuck came up with this idea? Uh, the religious people. Yeah, so idiots but at, <laughs> at, at one point in time all the people were religious people true so it's not the religious people that came up with it it's the people sure. of human history that yeah. were like hey we've tried this in several different ways and we've determined the best way is doggy is, uh, is a, a couple and some kids but if we go back even further far enough we actually get to the point of like the renaissance era when there were kings and shit like that and they had to consummate the marriage meaning they had to fuck the chick that you were marrying just to test out the fucking car well that's a king thing though. oh oh so if you're the king then it's good to be the king but i mean it's like the, the guy's like uh, all right so i'm the first king like what what do i do and they're like you're the king fucking you tell us what you do and he's like uh, i fuck that chick and they're like but she's getting married tomorrow and he's like yeah no i know that's the rule is that that's, the day before she gets married rule. i get to fuck her if i want but i don't have to and then some other lady's like I'm getting married tomorrow. And he's like, nope, I'm, nope. Uh, I just said, busy, I don't have to do this. I just can if I want to. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, lady. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated genital piercings. 15 years ago, <laughs> underrated. Oh, yeah. 15 years ago, underrated. Really? Now it's trendy. <laughs> Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm not following a trend. <laughs> <laughs> I followed the trend 15 years ago. Did you really? I really did. I got a... a <laughs> you got your butt cheeks pierced No, I, I got my wiener pierced did when I was really? 18 years old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wanted something that uh, I because I had one tattoo at the time and my parents were like, you're not you're, getting another tattoo. And if we see one on you, then you're in trouble or whatever. You know, 17, 18, whatever trouble I can get. You're in. never going to see this. But I was like, I want to do something that I know my parents won't be able to see. But I can still like brag to my friends that I got something done. So yeah, it was like a tongue piercing, like straight through, <laughs> oh just on God. my wiener. It was the most painful thing. <laughs> The guy was like, all right, he did the, the fucking countdown thing where he doesn't be truthful with the countdown. You know what I'm talking about? Where he's like, all right, on three, one, uh, and just jammed it in. And I was like, oh, God. And yeah, it was terrible. But once it healed and stuff, then it was like uh, uh, it word spread. So, oh, yeah. so girls are like, I want to see your wiener. And I'd be like, get it. Get it out. It's, it's in there. Oh, but yeah, God. so now it sucks because 20 years later, Later, I still have like a hole in the bottom of my wiener, and depending on the, the, the yeah, yeah, depending on the pressure of how much I'm peeing, it'll fucking drip out of the hole. No! Like I would say, like five drips per to- total pee. You what? know, yeah, it's a thing. Oh god! But it's, it's something. A permanent hole. There's there, nothing I, mean. I can do about it yeah. now except put a piercing in it again, and I don't want to because <laughs> the top is healed up. But. Okay. So wow. yeah, I'm gonna say overrated. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I got the same story, but mine was the nipple piercing. Yeah, I mean, that's still geni- genital, whatever. Sort of, I mean, yeah, sure. You know, and that's what I see is I did that in the same thing to my mom wouldn't let me get my ears pierced, so I was like, "Well, watch this." So my buddies pierced my nipples, whatever. Your buddy did it? Oh yeah, in the kitchen. <laughs> I at least went to a professional. <laughs> oh, fuck no. He had, he had gloves I was, I think on I was and 15. stuff. Uh, Maybe younger, and I still have uh, have it in. You still have it in? Yeah. Oh God, no! And now show was... all the people at home. <laughs> no, yeah, sure, no. you can if you want. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> there. It's, it's, that no, thing's locked tight on, I, dude. I, 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 yeah, I believe it. Uh, I think I kind of remember whenever you told me that you did that, actually, because yep. it was kind of right around the time whenever we uh, met. I think or close to it or yeah. something like that. And then, like, 
I I remember seeing it for the very first time, and one nipple was longer oh, yeah. than the other. Oh one. yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I called it my road cone. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I did. I don't know how. I'm sure my mom knew about it when I got uh, done because it just stuck out all the fucking time. Yeah, it was just you one. Know? Just one and side. That's, that's how I could tell it's trendy. You know, you scroll TikTok, and that's all you see is piercings. Oh yeah, for sure. Piercings, piercings, piercings. I'm like. You're a phony. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of fifty fifty on this. I I'll be I'll be honest. I think uh, chicks with their nipples pierced is kind of hot, but I think people like chicks with their downstairs pair or pierced. That's that's pretty intimidating if you know what I'm saying. Because it's pretty hot. well, it, it it's it's kind of hot because you know it's like okay, well they're obviously adventurous or well experienced, but at the same time I've also heard that if you've got that thing down there, it makes it kind of numb after a certain period of time. And so that means that it's a little bit more difficult to pleasure them in that particular regard. So it makes somebody like me extremely intimidated mm-hmm. to where I don't want to, you know, I'm like, nope, I obviously can't satisfy you. I'm going to stay over here and let somebody else fuck your brains out because I can't do it. I'll fuck her. <laughs> yeah. King over <laughs> this, here. Okay. This imaginary girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Captain Planet with your fucking rings together. It's like, yeah, no. So I, I, I'm going to say overrated for me. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, having sex more than five times in one day. At, uh, go ahead. Like yeah. every day? No, or just, just once. once. What? Uh, that's underrated. Okay. Having a day of, of sex is good, but I, I couldn't do it every day. I couldn't do it every week. Sure. But yeah, I, I've, I've had a few of those mm-hmm. in, in my life of sex with ladies <laughs> where it's just like and that it's sort of a uh like i get i'm not an inside joke because the girl doesn't know the joke but when i'm on dating apps and stuff i'm just like yeah the first time w- is going to be super fast the second <laughs> like time is going to be decent that third time we might not even finish <laughs> but about an hour after that that fourth time <laughs> gonna blow your mind <laughs> just gotta warm up uh, I, I, again, I agree with you, Mike. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> you, it, you have to have that one day. That one day is probably the most fun that you're ever going to have in, in your entire life. And it is a fucking roller coaster of fucking. It's, uh-huh. It is so great. Especially if it's like on the weekend where both of you are like out of town on like a really quick vacation, like a three day vacation. Yeah. You've got a hotel room where somebody else is cleaning your bed sheets. You don't give a fuck if the windows are open and people are looking in because you are putting on a fucking rodeo and you are riding 619 it's just gonna be an absolute terror and i think it may have been the best fucking time of my entire life and i think after that point in your life you've seen every square inch of that woman there's no more secrets and so yeah but you can only do it like once or twice you can't do it like every day there's it just makes it dull yeah but yeah that no i and i've read like dating profiles and stuff from girls that are just like i like to do it multiple times a day every day and i'm just like <laughs> left why left yeah i will no. not be pleasing you my lady. <laughs> that's right uh how are you fred uh i mean i'm i'm on the fence again really? again i mean back in college it was a underrated that was a lot of fun when i had the energy and the the time and whatever you know it i mean sex with you must be a minute long if you want to do it five times a day but oh no it's an all-day event it's, it's like just, the sex olympics yeah i mean it it does it, it does it sounds like it's a like blast. The, it's the decathlon of i dick. really like snacks uh-huh. and naps <laughs> well you can do those you can things. do those things take like an hour to nap those and things then are definitely involved <laughs> yeah you're that, just <laughs> naked all day the, yeah like the it's the sex that you do have is like energetic and stuff. Right. I like I like a, a to feel a bead of sweat <laughs> fall off of the girl onto me, and I'm like, hell yeah, you're doing it. You're, you're doing it up there. <laughs> right. I mean, I gotta take some notes here. I guess I need to try one of these days as an adult. Now. Right between her tits, it's starting to beat up with sweat. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I like that feeling, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and that's I, one of my favorite kinds of porn. Or because you can't just look type in sweaty girl, because then they just <laughs> show you somebody. They like throw the smell into the <laughs> title of the porn, and I'm like, I don't want a fucking gross girl. I just yeah. want a girl who's so working. But, but the the oil stuff, where if you type in the word oil or massage or oh, something yeah. like, then they look sweaty, <laughs> but it's really just a, a trick. See, <laughs> you are a fucking porno i don't want to be 
I don't want to be. I want to <laughs> delete my, the porn app that I use, and but I don't. You know, I haven't yet. I know one day I will, and it'll it, <sighs> that following week will be uh, annoying, and after that, I'll be a better person for it. But Fair. Until then, nope. Every time before I go to sleep, <laughs> that's good. that's like my my part of my ritual or whatever. Is right. like, all right, well, it's bedtime. Yeah. Let's fucking kick uh, this ready. I, yeah, I used to have that that same ritual except for my wife uh, caught me and beat the shit out of me no i'm kidding um my mom caught me once <laughs> but that's neither here yeah, nor let's, there let's not yeah. get into that one. Yeah, that one uh all right uh last one overrated or underrated competitive slap or sorry competitive slap competitions overrated really yeah i don't like them really i mean how what is that it's not a talent like, you can fucking hit me so hard, dude, and I ain't even going to care. <laughs> it's like, uh, Very true. I don't, I don't like it. I, I think it's kind of underrated. I get what you're saying. I really do. I, I think it's ridiculously stupid. But at the same time, as far as just the absolute pleasure of entertainment that I'm watching, where it's these two fucking 400-pound guys, and they are literally holding on to a table with, like, a little fucking arm thing just to keep themselves somewhat stable. And they just, as they, they even pump it, like, to your face yeah. and everything. And then that right when it fucking connects, you just see this guy, this huge fucking mountain of a man just all of a sudden legs buckle just and i think it's fucking great yeah i don't i don't know that's never appealed to me yeah it's one of those things that i'm like Uh, yeah it it would all right i'll watch Uh, okay no (laughs) (laughs) how about you fred Uh, that's over it there's just just no excitement in it you know it yeah all those pumps and then you get maybe one guy gets knocked out you're like oh yeah, excitement over. I think it you would know. be even better if it didn't have weight comp, like weight classes. So, so big I fat think, guy, little guy, that'd be great. I'm just what, watch a, the guy like Home Alone <laughs> style, yeah. just flip to the side, yes. body still straight. Yes, no, well, I don't. I don't hundred percent. I think like it should solve problems. So if Dylan Mulvaney and I got together and he <laughs> was forcing me to call him a she. All right. Slap Slap competition. (laughs) You win, I'll call you whatever you want. There you go. That's like the duel of today. Like instead of instead of like thirty paces with a gun, you're just like, all right, slap Slap off, dude. Slap Slap off. Whoever quits loses the argument. That's right. Done. Solve a lot of problems quick and easy. Okay, so that's really underrated. All right. Well, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to what would you do? Same kind of scenario. We put you in a we will, well, uh, different kind of scenario. We put you in a scenario, and you get to tell us what you would do in this in this particular situation. First one: you are coming up to a red light at an intersection with a person panhandling next to you. What do you do? I fucking hate those firemen that sit out there with the boot. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? They why? get government money. I'm not going to give them more money. That's why. Okay. I, that makes sense. I, I'm more... But I, I really have to look the other way. Uh-huh. I'm a sucker. Mm-hmm. And they, everyone... Girl Scouts can see it in my eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so I have, I have to I have to look down. They are... Yep. They're, they're, yep. They will get you. I'm the exact opposite, though. Uh, I... I will stare them the <laughs> fuck down. <laughs> I will have my radio turned up to like metal and I'm just giving them death glare. But I mean, the firefighters, not as much and the police officers, not as much, but definitely the homeless guy that's asking for a sign, like whatever you've got. And I'm just like, I'm like, why don't you take your sign and marker money <laughs> and fucking spend it on a your- generator. <laughs> Move to Seattle. A generator. <laughs> yeah. They'll give you $600 a month if you live there. Right. I'm just like, come on. Quick trip's right there. Come on, dude. It depends on several factors. Sure. Uh, race is not one of them, <laughs> by the way. I'd like to point that out. Uh, is gender? Sex, yeah, might be. Okay. I, I would be more likely to give money to a homeless girl okay. than a homeless dude. Yeah. Because at least with a dude, I'm like, get a fucking job, you know? <laughs> and I don't like... The- I see the same guy in the same spot, spot every, every day. day. And I'm like, dude, what you're obviously not saving Helping. any of this yeah. or like, yeah. it, it's not, it, it's not getting you anywhere. You're doing the same shit. No, I don't know. It pisses me off sometimes because I'm like, that guy has no incentive to not do that. Yeah. yeah. There's no, it, all it, it would take exactly is a cop it. every day. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, exactly. And Bam. then after a week or two of that, then the guy's like, I got to get a fucking get a job, job, dude. <laughs> I got to do something. Oh, God, we sound like awful people, but we're not. 
Uh, next one. I got work at my house. Come I know. Over. That's, pick, come on over. We'll figure it out. my dog shit. There you go. Uh, you are watching a movie with your spouse and her parents, and a sex scene comes on. What would you do? Uh, Stare directly at <laughs> All right. Yeah, no. no, I'd be like, no, 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 wait. Uh, the cup is... It, <laughs> It represents, <laughs> it's like the worst no. sex scene okay. I can imagine. Oh no. 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 <laughs> do not it depends on what I movie not it is. That That's year. the point. Oh, like I, I would watch Roadhouse with my parents as a kid. And oh. I remember my mom would just do one of those. <laughs> but not like I, like touching my skin. Oh, yeah, just kind of like, like the, the shield. And I would just do one of these. Like pull oh, her yeah. arm down. and oh. So it was like, it was known this is inappropriate. But it was never, you know, my dad wouldn't like, look at that. Look at her. <laughs> like, it was just, we don't talk about it. I remember this is somewhat related. Uh, when I started masturbating, I was in sixth grade. We're talking way too much about his masturbating today. <laughs> I was in sixth grade. I was like 11 or 12 years old. Pe- pierced and, penis or without? No, no. Okay. Pre pierced penis. <laughs> That's my PPP. Uh, pre pierced penis. But the, Those it, were the good old it just so happened I had been <laughs> masturbating shamefully because I didn't know anything about it. My dad never had talks or anything. It wasn't we weren't that kind of family, but I knew that I was doing something. You know what I mean? Sure. And then we happened to be watching Roseanne. It was me, my mom and my dad. And it was the episode of Roseanne where they find out that DJ has started masturbating. <laughs> and it was so fucking hilarious. But I've just had like a pillow up to my face because i was like i can't let them know that i understand any of this and dj's like has like a victoria secret magazine or something and he's like i'm going to the bathroom and i was just like what me too <laughs> yeah like oh no anyway whatever that's a pointless story uh i i was kind of more or less talking like you're an adult and you're awkwardly watching a sex scene with your spouse's parents but um <laughs> Yeah, that that it wouldn't be as awkward for me because her parents are actually like pretty cool and very like not they're not hush hush about it at all. And if anything, especially after you get married, what is the one thing your in laws always fucking talk about? Right when you having a baby. When you having a baby, shut the fuck up, never. Right. So so it's, it's not like you'd be watching a sex scene and they'd be like, "Don't juice. watch, yeah, like, don't look at it, kids." No shit. And if like the dad was like, "Her, I did that to her last night," uh, blah blah blah. I'd be like, "Ah, okay, great, good for you." I'm yeah, no, uh, but I, yeah, I would basically just watch the fucking thing and not say a word. How about you? Fred, uh, so I'm I'm very lucky. Uh, her mother is more hilarious than me, a hundred percent. So if there was a sex scene on, she'd be like, "Hey, hey, there's some nice tits." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they sure are. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'd be like, "Please don't talk to me about that." Yeah, it's very inappropriate. Okay. Oh no, it gets inappropriate on her next comment. <laughs> she, yeah, she'll say, "Mine used to look like that." <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm like, yeah, change like a, the channel now. Yep. <laughs> uh, no, honest, honest question. What was the first like movie that your parents like n- didn't know that the boobies were coming up, and then they were just like, oh shit! Like, oh, do you remember, remember the first movie? I don't remember. You don't. At all. You know what mine was? What stripes. Ah, uh, because you you could put it together because that was one of my favorite movies as a little kid because yeah. that's dad's like one of his favorite yeah. movies and it was like stripes right at the beginning of the movie it's almost like if you don't know it's coming it you have no idea but as a young kid you're like oh shit tits <laughs> you know what I'm saying I think Revenge of the Nerds is probably the that's first movie one, that right? I remember well, watching as a kid that had tits in it yeah and um, back then it was like PG thirteen or like right yeah, I know. it wasn't that big yeah. of a deal. Now it's like, yeah. oh, shit, it has nudity in it. Turn it off. Anyways, all right, next one. Someone uses the urinal directly next to you, and there are at least five other urinals available. What would you do? Have I already, has pee already started coming out? Doesn't fucking sure. matter. Oh, it matters. Oh, it matters. 
if P is already coming you, out, you've already got two. Then I'm fine. Dribbles from your I don't hole. care. But if I'm if I walk up to a urinal and I'm getting everything ready, and a guy comes up right next to me, I'll just stand there and not be able to pee. And then he'll <laughs> pee, and then he'll walk away. And then once he starts washing his hands, I'm like, all right, I know he's not looking at me anymore. And then my body can pee. I'm okay, a, I'm a shy peer. Okay, that, that's fair. And especially you got to watch out for the dribble coming out of that bottom hole. Don't. <laughs> I've, I've learned how to manage that problem. That's not an issue at all. Plug it. And look, yeah, do my, you plug it? My wiener is long enough that it doesn't affect my pants okay. and stuff. Uh, I'm not saying it's long. I'm just saying it's longer than it's, the... It's long enough. It's longer than the one millimeter Fair. of fabric nice. that's in the way. Uh, I, actually, uh, mine's very, very simple. If it doesn't matter. If I haven't started peeing, I am moving. I am going to one of the other stalls. Oh, ah, okay. I, I don't like it when, especially if you are that guy that comes in and goes directly next to the other guy when there's plenty of space, you're a creep. So, like, no, I'm moving to another urinal if I haven't started. If I have started, I'm pissing on your shoes. Ah. That's what I'm fucking doing because you broke man law and that's fucked up. So, that's mine. All right. Fred? Fred? Uh, I do my best to embarrass them. I don't give a fuck. I'll pee whatever I want, but I'll I talk to them then. Oh yeah, and I try and make eye contact. Yeah, like, I'm holding my dick right now. Yeah, you know, or you know, ooh, water's cold, or yeah. I start giving my dick a pep talk and see how annoyed they get. Yeah, you, know, you should I, you should try cleaning your fingernails there, sir. Me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just shit like that. Nice watch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you made I want them to his fingernails when yeah. you said that. Straight up, I was like, wait, I'm on camera, but yeah, exactly. I want them to be <laughs> like. Oh fuck! Uh, this no. guy's loony. I do that if if like if you don't have a choice if if all the urinals are taken in and a, and a guy like walks up or something like that at work or something like that I'm always like nice watch dude and they're always like, <laughs> like <that. laughs> yeah I do that no I don't say anything to anybody in the bathroom <laughs> you don't not I mean unless uh sometimes at comedy clubs and stuff then someone would be like good shit up there dude mm -hmm. and I'll be like thank you I'm peeing. <laughs> Got my dick in my hand. Can this wait? <laughs> yeah, no. But shit. I did. I watched a video once. It was about the twelve fold method. Have you heard this? No. It's some guy that was talking about like saving paper towels and stuff. So his thing was like, you wash your hands, and then when you're done, you shake your hands twelve times, and then you grab one paper towel, fold it in half, and that will completely dry your hands. And so I was in the bathroom one time. I remember it was a black dude, which doesn't matter, but I'm just painting a picture. <laughs> and I washed my hands, and then I just. Went like that <laughs> and i didn't even think about it and it fucking he was like Bleh, like shied away from it and i was like dude i'm so sorry like i didn't even think about other people i was just drying my hands off and oh god oh, anyway well. 12 fold it works okay. look it up it was a ted talk oh, okay fair uh next one your doctor is trying to have a common conversation with you during your prostate exam what would you do come <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd be like, just don't call it a prostate. Just call it my asshole. Like, <laughs> Come, really? Okay. I know. That is funny where it's like, hey, you're feeling the inside of my asshole. And you're like, no, I'm not. I'm feeling no, your, I'm prostate. your prostate. And you're like, but that's my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's science. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Yeah. No, it's not, Doc. You got shit on your fingers. <laughs> no, I got prostate on it. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Oh, oh God. Uh, no, that's... That's really weird. I, like I've I've thought about this because I'm dreading that, and we're getting closer and closer, obviously, to it. I think what do they say? Fifty is whenever you start getting the know. exam, forty five or some shit like that. You're closer than I am, thank God. Um, but like, what do you expect? I mean, do you think it's just going to be like, all right, grab your ankles, bend over, here you go? Like, what do you think is going to actually happen in that particular examination? They're going to probably try to have to like no event or like. They're going to have to loosen you up a little bit, basically. They lube it up. I'm they sure lube they, is it. Yeah. I'm sure they do, but they got to get you to relax because, you know, I mean, it's an exit, not an entry. So it's just going to like. It depends know? on the doctor. Oh, does it? I mean, because yeah, I mean, some doctors. Hands that big, like fingers <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a different doctor. Like full size sausages. Yeah. Right. But, uh, it's like a, a shallow how man. I shook his hand. It was like grabbing a bunch of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> But no, it's like because uh, some doctors are probably pervy about it, you know. Yeah, and I'm like, sure, yeah. And you're like, I felt that go in and out multiple times. <laughs> but some doctors will probably just be like, "Yep, you're good." Yeah. And you're like, "Oh, that's all it was." Okay. What if it's a female doctor? 
I don't even want to. <laughs> that seems weird. Yeah, I don't know why. I bet there are and bleached beforehand. Female proctologists or <laughs> yeah, whatever, I'm but sure, maybe. I don't know. She's There's, like she's like in her early seventies, and she's got rubber that gloves. That would probably on. be all right. I <laughs> went to a, okay. I went to a female dermatologist once. Well, was she checking out your dick? I uh-huh. mean, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Dick so, warts. and that was fine. <laughs> dick warts. Yeah, but I don't have them anymore. So <laughs> she did her job. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fair enough. All right. Last one. You're home alone, so you take a dump with the door open. Then you suddenly hear the front door of your house open. What would you do? Uh, Freak out because I live by myself. (laughs) (laughs) I would be like, who the hello? (laughs) Who the fuck is that? You get the nine millimeter underneath the toilet and just now my, clear the room with my, your pants around your ankles. My apartment is set up in such a way where if I'm sitting on the toilet, I can see the front door. Oh, nice. Which is convenient. That is convenient. But there's the window right next to my front door. And so multiple times I have forgotten to pull the shade mm-hmm. and I'm just like sitting on the toilet. It's even worse <laughs> in the morning because I'm just naked because sure. I sleep naked, you know, so I'm just pooping naked <laughs> and I can see like neighbors walking by and stuff. And I'm like, oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I don't see your neighbors just going up and going like, hmm, what's Mike doing? Today? No. Hey, and when I, when I walk through my apartment complex, I can't see inside yeah. people's apartments unless, right. unless I'm up next to it. And I then I can see in pretty good <laughs> when the girls are in the bathroom. Nice. No, that's not true. Uh, I... I, I still I'm actually kind of cool with with my my wife, but I don't. That's one thing that we both agree about. We don't want to tell each other when we have or when we're pooping. Like it's just kind of a thing that we kind of keep to ourselves. Yeah. But it's also kind of like a double edged sword because whenever like she goes to the bathroom and you walk upstairs and you kind of smell it, it's just like surprise. But <laughs> I guess with me, like I'm still gonna duck walk to the door and close the door at least and turn the fan on. Maybe uh, yeah. You know, and then at that point you're smelling the poopery in the toilet because you kind of feel bad and you weren't expecting her to come home. But, you know, it, that's that's kind of what I'm doing. But I'm totally duck walking with the pants around the ankles trying to keep my butt cheeks spread so I don't get shit everywhere. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't want any of that. I, <laughs> my family was totally a shit positive family. Oh, really? Oh, I mean, it's like we would talk about how much we're going to have to shit on like the way to restaurants and stuff. You took pictures and sent it to your friends, didn't you? Uh, no, it wasn't to that level. It was really? just like guilty. Oh, it was just like, we're all going to Ponderosa. Do you remember that place? <laughs> no, it was like a buffet in a the Kansas city area back in the day. <laughs> no. And all my, me and my two sisters and my mom and dad shared one bathroom in our house. And so like, while we're getting our first plate, I would just be like, I get bathroom first when we get home. <laughs> and they'd be like, I don't know about that. Like I'm eating a lot of chicken wings. <laughs> yeah. My family was very shit centric. Oh, okay. And, uh, but I, from Adam Carolla, I learned this not, he didn't teach it to me. I just read it in a book. But sure. the courtesy flush yes. is a very important thing. Yeah. Like it's it's he compared it to like a pot of stew on mm-hmm. on the like you walk into the house and you're like, oh, you're making stew or whatever. That's a pot of shit stew <laughs> in the toilet that you just need to flush as quickly as you can. Yes. Otherwise, people are going to walk in and be like, oh, <laughs> you making shit stew. <laughs> Uh, sorry. What about you, Fred? I mean, I shit too much to worry about it. Yours don't even stink. It, that's the point. This you know, dude, this dude every, shits six times a day. Yeah. We're, yeah. Yeah. I don't. It, I, it doesn't make sense to me. No, it doesn't. It's not even regular. Me. It's not <laughs> even regular. It's it's just like it's. Where's Fred at? He's nowhere to be found. He's probably shitting. Like yep. like ninety percent of the time, it's yep. Fred went and found a bathroom somewhere and it's taking a shit. They also take like five minutes. Yep. It's it's a sit down, do your deal, and get back up. So it's like he's peeing. It's just not. Mm-hmm. It's weird. I feel like when people poop that fast, I I'm just like my butthole's cleaner than yours. <laughs> is. Oh no, I got dude wipes. He everywhere. does have dude wipes. Everywhere. Travel dude wipes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's I'm, for the that's for the incidental waddle. I don't have to worry about. Oh, it. I can yeah. just right. go. I'm sorry for assuming. Wipe, but, not but, not to mention not a sponsor, but could be. Should be. Should be. I'd yeah. buy enough of them. I buy the Huggies wipes. They're way cheaper than everything else, oh. and they're next mm-hmm. to baby stuff. Oh. Don't don't get them from the toilet paper section because they mark stuff up yep. there. Oh, that makes sense. If you get them, the two three bucks for like a hundred pack. Nice. 
How about what were you gonna say, Fred? You were gonna say something. Oh, just that you know, since I'm such a regular shitter, yeah. everyone would expect me to be in there. You're a serial shitter. So yeah. <laughs> so if I'm in there and the door's open, they're just be like, oh, I'm gonna not look and move and yeah. Then I'll try and close the door. No, you, I can see you being like, hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, if, you're, a, if you're a good buddy of my brother, I'm just gonna leave the door open and talk to you. That's right. It's like, hey, I'll, how's I'll it tell going? you. I say I'm gonna wipe. Don't look. Yeah. How was your day? That's yeah. like my friend Fraser will totally shit with the door open <laughs> and just be like, Mike. And I'm like, what? And he's like, hey, come look at this picture. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I can finish in there and then I'll look at it. <laughs> oh God, God, dude. All right. Well, that was what would you do again? If you have any situations, send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram and at L O T sidelines on Twitter. Now get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, we're going to speed right along. First question, something an English person should know before coming to America. 1776. Yeah. Yep. All the history. That's it. That's that, it. That one, that one year, that one year. Yeah. Okay. Is- all right, fine. Uh, I, I have a, I do have a favorite TikToker or TikToker, and uh, and Fred follows him too. But uh, what is it uh, England, Josh? Josh from England. Josh from England. He's is awesome. And over the last uh, couple of weeks, he's he's talking about he's getting ready to come to America. Which I uh, hope you have a great time there, bud. I'll come up to Kansas. Yeah, yeah, no come shit. Up. Woo, a lot of stuff to do up here. There is. Uh, like, yeah, like there he's is. gonna watch this. No kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, it, it it is definitely a fun fact. But Texas is fucking huge. That's something that he's still trying to grasp about how long it is to drive through Texas from east to west. It takes like nine hours. Nine hours. It's fucking ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And then from north to south, it's kind of the same thing, really. Uh, so it's fucking huge. The United States is absolutely huge. Um, and that's why we have so much culture everywhere we go. So, yeah, that's something you should know. But how about you, Mike? That's what I said earlier, like going from like Sicily to like Germany. Yeah. And you said that's the same as going from like here to Omaha. Yeah, or something. It's, it really is. It's insane. It, it's weird to think about just how everything's so crammed together there. But oh, yeah. Uh, I don't. I uh, some dentist joke. You can <laughs> write it yourself. I'm not here to write all the fucking jokes for you watchers. Yeah, we value our teeth here in the United States. Uh, next one: things that would get you canceled in the 1800s. Just saying. Uh, like, hey, you know what we should do? We should work on defeating those British. <laughs> <laughs> like that alone that was, was enough a, to to have you was, thrown in jail or that, something. That was the seventeen hundreds. You know, that was not bad. But no, yeah, it was. Oh yeah, okay. Well, well like, whatever. Like so, in, uh, late seventeen hundreds. Eighteen hundreds would have been like in slavery. That would have been like kind of an unpopular idea at the time. Yeah, Louis C.K. has a new uh, special out right now, and he talks about that a little bit. Oh, yeah. Where it's just like, yeah, but it's not an option for you now. <laughs> yeah. Like, so it's easy for you to be like, I would have never done that. Yeah. <laughs> but like, if it was an option, like you're carrying your groceries, and you're like, God, I mean, it would be fucking convenient, you know. <laughs> Nah, he says it funnier, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, but no, mine is actually allow women to speak their mind. Mm. That's a big no-no back mm-hmm. then. Yeah, they couldn't big. even vote until... Was it after 1900? Uh, 1920s. 1920s, yeah. 22, yeah. 26, something like that. It might just be the Twitter algorithm that I follow. Like, this is what <laughs> they're feeding me. But I've seen a lot of people tweeting about, like, we, sh- we never should have given women the right to vote. Like, that's when <laughs> shit started going downhill. No, and it, it, like, a lot of stuff. Like, in the 1800s, uh, it was really frowned upon for to allow a woman to read a book. Like mm-hmm. that was bad. And then you had some authors. That's why you had the, the uh, pen name or whatever the hell uh, that is, yeah. is you had so many female writers that had to go under the name of a male because right. it was so looked down upon for female to be authors like JK Rowling. Uh, yeah. Something yeah. like that. Uh, no, it's not just laugh out loud or just joking kind of thing. But yeah. Um, did you answer? I don't remember. Oh, oh, yeah. I said the British thing. Oh, yeah, that's, which right, was, that's right. I'm just looking forward to my next couple of answers. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. This actually comes in from a listener. This is from uh, Chris Regenthal. He wants to know, describe your sex life by a movie or TV title. Despicable Me. Okay. A lot of minions running around the bedroom. A lot of minions. (laughs) I mean, I got one Gru and a lot of minions. Okay, fair enough. Those are the dogs, right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm going to use Mike's favorite TV show, Lost. 
Um, it's uh, there's that. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That's how big the vagina is. Yeah, oh, you're, just, you're, you're, you're like, where am scared. I? Where is it? Uh, there's no. a smoke monster. No, the other one I had was Armageddon. Ah, okay. End of the world, man. It's that big of a deal. I looked up uh, to make sure that this was actually a title, and it is. It's a 1958 movie, and it's called Too Much, Too Soon. <laughs> <laughs> and that is about the uh, speed at which I finish sex and the volume of my <laughs> semen. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> which is something that girls don't appreciate. No. no, which, no. I, I would think that it would at least be a topic of conversation. Sure. Yeah. Never is. No. Uh, next one. Ooh. Uh, no, we're going to do it. We're going to make that one the last one. Ah, okay. All right. Next one. Bob Ross's little known first show was called The Joy of Blank. Uh, I went with Flapdoodle. Flap the joy of Flapdoodle. What the hell is Flapdoodle? Uh, let me read it for you. Okay. Oh. A sexual incompetent man. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he had a kid. He had a son. So, I mean, it couldn't have been that, that incompetent. That could have been before the son. That could have been, yeah. It's true. That's true. I actually have a real one. Um, mine, uh, My deal is Bob Ross's little known title uh, of his first TV show was actually called The Joy of Squirrels. Have you seen the fucking paintings and shit like that where he just has like this intro? tree of a fucking squirrel that he sits there and talks to forever uh -huh. happens all the fucking time <laughs> the dude loves animals and just squirrels will come out of nowhere is and he still alive no he died no. Oh. he died he died several years ago that's sad don't buy any bob ross memorabilia because he doesn't own any of it and the people that do are cunts really yes do I, not i mean i wouldn't have to they are cunts they took all the money away from his family and they did it on purpose that sucks they're pieces of shit uh how about you there mike uh, I wrote uh, Bob Ross's little known first show was called The Joy of Slaughtering Human Beings and Using Their Blood to Paint Trees. <laughs> okay. And then they were like, listen, Wait buddy, the tree, we like the tree thing. <laughs> Can we back off a little That's bit on that? That's why he painted so many fucking trees. Yep. All right. Last question. The new Bud Light, oh, sorry, the new Bud Light slogan should be blank. Add some mountains and bush. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Get it? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, how about you, Fred? Uh, I didn't. I, I, I failed this one. I went with moment of silence just because. Oh, they uh, don't need to advertise. They don't they, need to advertise. <laughs> okay. Well, mine is. Man, I feel like a <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta love it. Nailed does, it. Does that button always do that? Or no. did you just you set I that up set for that this? Up. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Oh, shit. Did, all right. You mean you've never heard that on the show before? Yeah, I never. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it may be coming into play in future episodes. Just saying. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that is uh, our questions and preguntas segment. Again, if you, had any, if you have any suggestions, send them in to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or at LOT Sidelines on Twitter. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. I haven't done that in a really long time. <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, last week, uh, as always, Derek ended up running away with it and winning. Uh, but he ain't here, and neither is Jeremy. So I win by, I don't know, by a technicality, and so I get the championship <laughs> picks this week. Nice. Yeah. You're gonna need them. I, I, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not going to win anyway. Uh, so I'm going to get the championship picks. Uh, I would say that Mike has actually been on more recent, so that's how I'm going to make the, the designation. And then Fred hasn't been on in, I don't know, what, like, Quite a while. Yeah, actually. I'd say like four months yeah. since like maybe January or something like that. So Fred is going to get the very first pick uh, for this week's draft. And this mm -hmm. week, this week's draft is going to be our favorite food pairings. That means two foods that go together like lamb and tuna fish, mm. right? Uh, so Fred, you get to kick the draft off with your favorite food <sighs> pairing. I mean, I've got some good ones, but I think I got to lock this in early. Okay. Chips and queso. Ah, oh, that's mm. a good one. That is a good one. That is a very, very good one. You motherfucker. I, that's why I had to lock it in that you early. You did, because it, it was not going to be there on your way back. All right, Mike, go with your food pairing that you love the most. 
Um, I'm going to say ice cream and cookie dough. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, nice. All right. Those well. two things are better with the other one than they are by themselves. I kind of have one of those particular as my very first pick. I'm kind of surprised it's still around, but I'm going to go with uh, the everyday breakfast of champions, and that is going to be eggs and bacon. Okay. I saw that. Yeah. But you, I, I got some better you ones. You got to have the eggs and bacon in there. And uh, then this is actually my favorite meal out of pretty much anything that my wife can make me. And that is spaghetti and meatballs. Mm. Yep. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> right? So am I, dog. I got French dip at home waiting for me. I know. I know. All right. Mike, you get your second Dude. pick. What do you got? Um, I have, uh, I'm going to just do normal ones for a moment. Okay. Uh, apple and peanut butter. Okay. I like those together. Okay. Yeah. Those uh, are good. Those are good. good. Those are good. I, pre- I prefer celery with my peanut butter. Okay. That's but fucking weird. What I prefer no, even ants more. Ants on a log, dude. Oh, man. Ants on a log is bomb. Oh. Uh, peanut butter. Is it mine? Yeah, it's yours. Good. Woo! Peanut butter and jelly. Damn it, I knew that was going to yeah. go. Yeah, PB you and J. not beat a Damn it. J. Yeah, you're right. Okay, and you get one more there, oh, Fred. Shit, you get your man. back-to-back, yep. Oh, man, I, I think I've got to take. As long as you don't take mine. I, I mean, I don't know what you have, but I think I'm going with my Wendy's fries and Frosty. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. But you're the asshole that dips your fries in the Frosty. Hell That's, yes. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't. <laughs> I can't chew. Like when I eat cookie dough ice cream, cold. I I there's something to chew in the ice. cream? I hold the cookie dough in my mouth and let the ice cream melt, melt? around it. So then I just have a solitary. <laughs> chunk of cookie dough. I can't chew ice cream though. It, my teeth are too sensitive. I okay. guess right. I'm, I'm sensitive. Sensitive. Get yourself a Bud Light. What's your middle? Uh, pick? Sure. What's your next pick there, dude? Me? Yeah. Um. Uh. This was a thing that I did when I was a kid, and I don't know how I figured it out. We just happened to have both of these things, and I dipped one in the other, and then it became like a thing for me for the next ten years. And that is a uh, sausage biscuit. And strawberry milk. What in the hell wow. is wrong with you? I have no idea, but it's fucking good. I would take these sauce. It's like the two in the pack. You take one slice of craft cheese, fold it twice, so you get four pieces. You take the top bun off, put one little corner or one fourth on each thing. Flip them over, put another fourth on the bottom, microwave it. What the fuck? That was like my staple breakfast for a good, probably all of junior high, beginning of high school. Yeah. I'm fat, dude. What can I say? (laughs) You're right. (laughs) Um, Okay. I'm going to go with my, uh, my next pick is going to be cheese and crackers. That is my go-to. That's my that snack is. food, dude. You guys are picking like popular yeah, things. Yeah. I'm I'm like going through my life. Like, what have I mixed together that's good? Yeah. And <laughs> and my next one I'm excited about. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna steal this one from Fred because no, I love you're not. it. I, I am. I don't have it. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay. Uh my stepmother makes some awesome of this, and that is going to be biscuits and gravy. So yeah, I did not have. You it. did not have no, mom's biscuits it. and gravy. I saw it and I was like, You're "Who weird. the fuck eats biscuits without gravy?" So it's not a pear. People that go to Popeyes. Well, obviously, I mean strawberry milk. So <laughs> that is new. Try right? it. <laughs> try it. <laughs> just try it. <laughs> what was that you said last time? Well, last time you're here, oh, you just need to try it. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, Mike, you get your next pick, dude. Um, a McDonald's double cheeseburger and McDonald's barbecue sauce. What? I like those two things together. <laughs> okay. I mean, I get it. That's uh, the rodeo cheeseburger from Burger King. Is okay. Okay. No, McDonald's barbecue sauce beats the shit out of <laughs> Burger King's Wouldn't barbecue know. sauce. Okay. I went, if they sold McDonald's barbecue sauce in bottles at the store, I bet McDonald's would lose a billion dollars a year. <laughs> okay. Because sometimes I'll just go to get actual food because I'm like, it, barbecue sauce sounds good. Okay. Okay. 
All right, uh, Fred, you get back to back two back, picks. These back are to these back are my last. These two. are your last two. Oh man, and I think I've got to go with the two. I'm. Oh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take fish and chips. Okay, that is one of my all time favorites. Okay, and I really can't decide. Oh man, I got I got. Oh. <laughs> I, I found my winning my winning pick if you don't you pick think it. so? I did, yeah. Man, I've got some good ones, but I oh. <laughs> Do I can you read that one? <laughs> that one? Does that say chili? That says chili. Okay. Uh, I the, think I'm taking it. I, that, chili and a cinnamon roll. Yeah. Oh, dude. that is so fucking weird. It is so fucking good. No. It is good. It's uh, sweet and savory. Oh, yeah. Or sweet and salty yeah, or whatever. Sweet and barbecue That's the Midwest crazy thing. That's the Midwest crazy thing that I don't understand, but everybody here loves it, and I just don't. I think so it's fucking good. weird. I will take a cinnamon roll and put it at the bottom of an yep. empty bowl and then just Murder cover chili. it with chili and then cut it with my spoon as I'm eating it. Oh, yep. It's fucking Same. wild as Same. hell. So God. Okay, well, Mike, you get your last pick. Man, I'm glad I was worried that somebody else was going to pick this before I had a chance to. Are you ready? Yep. Baked beans and cottage cheese. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been doing it since I was a kid. Uh, I have actually <laughs> heard this before. I have, too. So do you know what Dad does with his cottage cheese? Uh -uh. It's not pepper. It's sugar. What? And I've been doing it for 10 years because of him. Oh. So good. Oh, that's Sugar so on your cottage cheese? Yeah. So good. That's kind of interesting. I've heard cottage cheese with macaroni and cheese. Yeah. And that, yeah, I, I get I it, but. It. Uh, My grandma will do cottage cheese and like uh, tomato slices. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, it's sort of like a, what is that? Like a caprese salad. Yeah. yeah. It's like che Kansas Wichita version. Right. Oh, it's a caprese. So, oh my goodness. Now see, like, uh, like honorable men. Mentions. I I had a whole bunch. Uh, I'm a I'm a chicken noodle soup guy. Yeah. But to me, like chicken noodle soup, Pepsi, like together is fucking like nostalgic for me as a kid because that's all I could make myself. Uh, but I had uh, lots of other ones. I had I had the chili and crackers as well. But I have too many crackers on my list. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, chili and crackers is a good. Yeah. I, I like to make my chili dry. Oh, with like so yeah, many crackers, so many crack saltines. Never enough, I'm the never same way with Parmesan cheese when I do spaghetti. Yes, I want it to be a fucking, fucking dry, yes. cheese coated yes. noodle. Yes, one hundred percent. But there is one pick that every single one of us has overlooked, and I can't believe I that know. we all missed it. But if we were in college today, the biggest, the one that every single college student has always experienced, and that is the next morning, and that is pizza and beer. Okay. Pizza See, and beer combo is numero uno and i can't believe it's still around i don't i'm not a beer guy that's true i think but, but like whenever you're young and it's easy oh pizza and sex pizza and sex that's was what i had <laughs> okay that, that was what i was toying with nice last nice day. food pink tacos and pizza sure. yeah, i love it uh, but no, I think if you ever, even if it's like community college, it, I think everybody experiences the like the leftover pizza that's still sitting on the counter. It's uh -huh. like, I got to eat something to get rid of this hangover. So I'm going to eat food and drink the beer to make the hangover more tolerable. Sure. So that's that's the, the mindset. It doesn't work at all. It doesn't. <laughs> I remember we were. <laughs> it just makes it worse. We did football practice. I played football in high school. And one morning we were all out there at like seven o'clock in the morning and Someone had clearly been partying on the football field the night before. There's like some empty beer cans and there was like half a pizza there. And I was like, hey, guys. And I just fucking I took I, was, I jokingly took a bite of the first slice. And I was like, dude, this hasn't been sitting here that long. Like, they must have been here until like four in the morning or something. Because it was and I we ended up eating all of it. Nice way to go. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. But you can go to. At L O T sidelines on uh, Twitter yeah. now, and you can actually vote. I actually do take those votes into account. We are still going to put the uh, the draft up on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, and you can vote by uh, clicking on the corresponding emoji for the list that has the best food pairings uh, that you like the most. But do take into consideration, we are soon going to move pretty much solely to Twitter, at least for the time being, uh, because they allow us to do what we want to. And we got that blue check mark. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, nice. we're verified and shit. Uh, but yeah, to uh, go go to both of those sites, you can vote uh, for your favorite person that has the uh, list of the best food pairings. But now, thanks for the victory, y'all. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Fucking baked Pizza beans and, and cottage beer. cheese. Right. God damn it. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation, sponsored to you by Finger Bang Beer and Bud Light. He just wanted to hit that button again. That was a good button. I did. I did. It's a, it was a great button. Yeah, you know what? It's, it is what it is. They're the uh, sponsor in anybody these anybody. days, aren't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep, yep, that's true. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather have to watch porn with your parents just to get the sex talk or get KO'd by the opposite sex in a slap competition? Ouch. Yeah, they would fucking hurt. Both of them. I don't know. Physically, the slap competition would hurt a lot more than the sex conversation after watching porn with your parents. After the raging boner you have in front of your parents. <laughs> that's, a, that's weird getting blue balls in front of your mom and dad. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. I got I to gotta think. I, I, would, I would want the, the sex talk, I think. You can have it. I think I'll get I, slapped. I, I, ooh, it, no. <laughs> I'm going to get knocked the fuck out. I, it, it wouldn't be that awkward for me. It, it wouldn't be. Good. It wouldn't be. Good. It's like I mean, because I think it's kind of funny. At by the time that parents actually start talking to their kids about sex, they really probably already. They know. already knew. It. They already know. They've. I mean, any any more. It's not like getting porn back in the days when we were kids. We had to go through like a storage box in the basement where you found all of your dad's playboys. Uh-huh. Right. That was our porn back in the day. Now kids have all these smartphones, and it's so easy to have access to a website. And all your parents are like, "No, I got privacy controls." Yeah, they figured out the they password. They know how to get past it, but no bullshit. Like I, I mean, at that point, especially being a kid now, I don't think that that conversation would be all that difficult for me. And I don't really want to get knocked the fuck out by anybody who cares if it's the opposite sex. So I'm going to just have that awkward conversation, but I'm making it awkward on them. Be like, I already know. No, see, watch this. He does this doggy style. You should see the Alaskan snow dragon. That's oh, what I'm. Why are we watching Bukaki? <laughs> yeah, why are we watching Bukaki? This is weird, Mom. Do you like this? That's what I'm doing. I pick my parents also, but only because both of them are dead. <laughs> oh, but it's an out of body experience. Yeah, I would just have an urn on each side of me, and I'd be like, "All right, I guess I'm watching <laughs> porn now. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need to make me finally stop." stop is yeah. that like God, <laughs> I don't try want to do go this. Try it, yeah. Yeah. When you go to bed, absolutely. <laughs> just have, I I have the picture of both of them next to the urns and try to do it in front of them. I don't think that's going to work. I don't know because then if it does work, <laughs> <laughs> who, who knows what box. Right, I know. I'm like, hey, I'm saving <laughs> no! myself for marriage, but I'm gonna need uh, <laughs> no! two urns yeah. and a picture of my parents Whoa! everywhere we go. Wow! <laughs> Don't kink shame. Oh man, that's dark as hell. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely getting slapped. Then. You're getting slapped. Definitely getting slapped. Then. Oh, the emotional damage that it ha- it comes with, even on top of the physical damage. It could be like from Pamela Anderson. I don't care. I don't want it. I yeah, take it. I, I don't take want it. it. I think I think uh, uh, Kate Upton could slap and knock me out with her tits, and I still wouldn't want that. I wouldn't like it. No, it I wouldn't, wouldn't be not fun. Like it. I mean, you're knocked out. You got to get KO'd. Yeah, and yeah, they're big enough. They probably could do I it. Bet they, they probably would. I so. mean, if I have to be knocked out, then yeah, I would. I would like. Oh some yeah, tits. tits for sure. <laughs> just a weird <laughs> right with a little sweat like I, right there. I, right I just say her chair. name, and she's excited, and just turns too fast. Yeah. And like, oh god. Just yeah. caught a fucking <laughs> boob to the. Oh man, <coughs> son of a bitch! Uh, guys, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with all of you. Uh, I I can't wait to do this again. Uh, I love having you guys on the show whenever you guys can yeah. fill in. And I know baseball season's coming up. Derek's gonna be gone quite a bit, and uh, and I know that Jeremy's gonna try to step in as much as he possibly can. But it's nice to have the group that we have to be able to come on the show and and put on a good show. So thank you guys both very very much. Uh, Mike, you've got uh, you are at Mike is funny.com correct hey yeah and there's Nailed links it. to everything follow me on twitter at mike baldwin and on 
on TikTok at Comedian Mike. There you go. There you go. Fred? Uh, don't follow me. Watch, watch the show I'm on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, shit. But guys, thank you very much. Uh, oh, actually, no. Do you have any to, uh, any any stand up that you're doing anytime all over the country like you do? As of right now, uh, the next thing I have is in May. So I'm gonna need some uh, either a job or some comedy work to pop in right now. But mm. as of right now, yeah, I'm I'm driving down to Tampa, Florida, to do a week at uh, Side Splitters, opening for John Caparulo. Oh, I love John. He's a super. Cool Cool dude, super and he's cool dude, super funny, and he he sells a lot of tickets, so his audiences are great. Yeah. And I'm just opening for him, so like doing when you're the main guy, you do like an hour on stage. Right. When you're opening, you do like 20 minutes. So I just get to pick the best 20 minutes of jokes that I have, go up and be really funny for a short amount of time, and then the whole crowd is like, man, I wish that guy would have stayed up longer. <laughs> and then they buy t-shirts and stuff from me, and and it's awesome. Yeah, ninjas right, don't cool. like crunchy leaves. Ninjas hate crunchy hate leaves. Hate crunchy it's leaves. Very important I apologize. You, yeah, nail it. I apologize. But thank you very, very much, uh, Mike. We sincerely do appreciate it. And to Fred slash Clayton. Thank you very much for coming on the show. No guys, problem, thank you man. thank you guys so very much for helping us out and sharing our content that is on TikTok at Laughing on the Sidelines and now on Twitter. Please follow us there at LOT Sidelines. Uh, we sincerely do appreciate it. And guys, if you would do us a favor and tell your friends if you like us, but if you don't like us, we hope your extra pee hole drips on your pants. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, sit down to pee. <laughs> 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 Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye.